Hello again, everyone. Edwin Rowe back once again. I'm going to see you guys to watch this segment. I'm going to be talking about Mars in conjunction with Uranus and the Nova Charta. Some of you will remember when I first started my YouTube astrology channel. I did a series on the aspects of the Nova Charta. They're a little bit concise. Some people may have referred to them as snappy, so what I decided to do is make another series on them. Each of these will be a little bit longer than the one I started. So, anyway, first thing. First thing up is if you have Mars in conjunct Uranus in a natal chart, an adjustment or just an in conjunction may be needed between doing things you have an enthusiasm for, which is Mars, and uh, matters pertaining to goals and aspirations, which is Uranus. If Uranus is an Aquarius, as an example, your goals and aspirations may be tied in uh, with astronomy, uh, astrology social media, electronics, computers, meteorology, aviation, innovation, even uh, altruistic and humanitarian endeavors. If Uranus is in Capricorn, as another example, uh, goals and aspirations may be connected with information, technology, business, uh, accounting, dentistry, masonry, carpentry, architecture, Construction as some other examples. Um, but the thing is, if you have this aspect, Mars in conjunction with Uranus, your time may be monopolized uh, by one uh, to the expense of the other. The thing is, it could either be that you're dominated by the things you have an enthusiasm for, which is Mars, to the expense of matters pertaining to goals and aspirations, which is Uranus, or the other way around. So the key with in conjunct aspects is that it's to find balance and equilibrium between the energies. Now another thing too is there may be an imbalance, uh, which is the in conjunct between activities that are associated with sexual partners, which is Mars, and friends, which is Uranus. You may be dominated by one or the other. You may be either um, either your friends may monopolize your time to the expense activities connected with the sexual partners or it could be the other way around. The sexual partners may dominate your time to the point to the exclusion of your friends where you just put your friends on the back burner, so to speak. So again, it's about finding that balance and equilibrium with the energy. Now let's say if Uranus is in Scorpio as an example, one or more of those friends may actually be a Scorpio sun ascended or simply embody the characteristics of the sign. It could be you know, those that are resourceful, um, resilient, decisive, probing, investigative, people that know how to go beyond subterfuge and superficiality, but it can also be those that can be manipulative, jealous, and vengeful. Now, another thing, too, is that there may either be too much or too little energy as Mars in matters uh, connected with one's objectives, which is Uranus. Now, let's say if Uranus is in Sagittarius, as an example, uh, objectives may be tied in with uh, you know, sports, the outdoors, publishing, advertising, printing press operation, it could be higher education, or uh, simply expanding horizons or maybe tied in with thing is, you could either have an exorbitant amount of energy at times for objectives, or there may be times when you just feel a zapper, you just have, like, you feel like there's just no energy, and your energy is basically, you know, uh, non-existent uh, for matters with the objectives, and there could be, you know, the, the tremendous amount of exuberance, enthusiasm in those matters at times, and other times you're just completely apathetic regarding it. Now, there also may be too much or uh, too little um, enthusiasm, which is Mars, uh, can, excuse me, connected with group related matters, which is Uranus. You know, there may be times where you have tremendous enthusiasm for doing things that are group related, and other times, then you just may be apathetic regarding them, and you're just like nothing, no kind of exuberance and enthusiasm, um, you know, for you may still. Things that are group related.
formulated at times, but there's just no movement, no enthusiasm from that point of view. They're just like more of a passive, you know, uh, energy you know, associating to now let's say if uh, Uranus is in Capricorn, as an example, with related matters, maybe with older people, it could be, you know, for example, people, it could be a group that's currently in business or accounting or dentistry architecture, construction. Um, let's say if Uranus is in Libra, as another example, maybe those groups are retired, let's say in the arts, such as drawing, painting, or sculpting, or something connected with the law, uh, a group of paralegals, or attorneys. You know, as another uh, example of people that are involved with arbitration, uh, it could also be the thing, too, is uh, physical related issues, such as lives. They either have a very strong uh, impact in terms of new objectives, which is Uranus, or they may not have any uh, impact on it whatsoever. And you may go about, you know, matters with your objectives, the attainment of them, which will avoid the difficulty uh, from uh, the physical related entities. Now, the thing, too, um, you know, let's say. Uranus, say, you know, is, uh, let's say Pisces, as an example, you know, those objectives may be tied in, you know, with helping the less fortunate, it could be something with fishing or boating or working on docks, or chemistry, anesthesiology, poetry, dancing, photography, or the metaphysical, which includes astrology. Now, another thing, too, is that, um, could be that Mars related people may either play a very integral role in your future, which is Uranus, or there may be extensive time where those people may be cut out of oblivious uh, to this. And when I say Mars related people, you know, um, that could include sexual partners or leaders or people that uh, could be you know, surgeons or people that are athletes or involved in sports, as an and the thing, too, is, let's say you could have you know, Uranus, you know, the Scorpio, maybe in Fusion, you know, maybe tied in with locksmithing, or psychology, investigations, forensics, embalming, working as a coroner or a surgeon, or it could be doing something with the occult, which includes astrology. Now, if you have any issues you know, that are connected, say, with the issues may either have a tremendous effect on the timing, which is Mars, or they may not at all. Now, let's say Uranus is in Aquarius, those issues, which I mentioned, anatomically connected with Uranus, may be more sporadic, erratic, intermittent, they may be nerve-related, um, as an example. And another thing, too, that surgery, which is Mars, may either go exceptionally well or bad on, the, on, on those issues, um, I would say. So that's something else uh, for you to look at. And the thing is, um, you know, if Mars is in Capricorn, you may be doing very well planned, premeditated surgery, but at the same time, you know, for whatever reasons, it could be exceptionally the outcome it, it could go the other way, I would say as well. Now, also, too, um, Mars in conjunct Uranus in the chart may also manifest in either easily summoning the physical strength, which is Mars, you know, for Uranus uh, activities, which could be um, including humanitarian endeavors, or they may be you know, an exceptionally laborious effort in doing so. Now, the thing is. Of Mars as a Neo, as an example, a very high energy placement in a person may have no inexorable energy, but at the same time, in, you know, as far as the strength goes, it may not always you know, be there for those Uranus related you know, activities, again, which can include humanitarian endeavors, you know, um, it could be you know, matters with all 
multiculturalism and the need somehow to use electronic services and modern things as uh, some examples. Anyway, people, that'll conclude Sutra Astrological segment. Until next time, we'll play with it. Stay